Hi everybody, welcome to Grace Harbour College for a new term. This is a week zero check-in, the week before week one. And in this video, I'm gonna go over four things. The first is, I want you to make sure you are in the correct math class for your degree. You have an opportunity to change it online yourself on your student portal in week zero. Second thing is, make sure you are in the correct math class for your skill level. We will look at math free uh, reviews that you can do before week one begins so that you could switch to a different math class if you want to and again you can do that online yourself on your student portal we'll look at that third thing is i want you to make sure you are enrolled in the classes you need for your degree let's have a look at your other classes are those the ones you need for your degree you should have an academic plan well you might have hopefully and I want you to contact me for help with any of this. I'd be delighted to help you out. Here's my phone number. Just give it a call anytime. If I don't answer, leave a message. I'll get back to you. Here's my email. Here's my Zoom office. It's always open. Click on it. Pop in there. Wait for me to join, though. Give me a chance to get in there. So just pop in and wait for a few minutes. The best of all, really, is to call. Because if you call my phone, then I'll hear it ringing. And I can answer it and chat with you. Okay? So this is a great week to get your term figured out properly it's really a mess when you start to try to change things around during the first week week zero is an awesome opportunity to make sure you have the correct classes for you so let's begin um, the correct math class for your degree that requires us to realize there are lots of different math classes at this college and there are different classes for different degrees you have to know what your degree is first. For example, if you're getting a bachelor's in nursing, uh, you need Math 146 statistics. If you want to do that, you've got to start with Math 60, then Math 70, then Math 97 to get to Math 146. Just depends what you want to do. If you want to do teaching, that's Math for Elementary Education, Math 131 and 132. But to get to there, you got to go through 60, 70, 97, right? So it depends what you want to do. You have to know your end goal before you know what you need to take, right? Um, so, for example, there's Associate of Applied Science and Criminal Justice. That's Math 101. You would need to take Math 60, then Math 70, then Math 101, which is offered in spring only. So please, again, talk to me. What degree are you getting? Then I'll tell you your sequence. But there's a lot. Okay. So that's the GHC Math Pathways. Okay. Um, next question. Okay, make sure you were in the correct math class for your skill level. All right. So what we're going to do is go to the Grace Harbor College web page and we're going to search for math brush ups, math brush ups. See that? Here they are. These are free lessons in all of our pre-college classes. These will allow you to understand what math we're covering in each pre-college class and also give you an opportunity to to review and if if you review for example uh, then you can tell me hey i'm okay with this material i can take this class or hey i'm not comfortable with this i think i need this other class so for example you could be placed into math 70 you could do all of the lessons for the math 70 brush ups here okay and then you could tell me hey i'm fine with that i want to take math 97 and i could switch it to math you could switch yourself to math 90 well i can give you permission to join math 97 um this term so please m avail of the math brush ups okay um, another example you could be placed in math 97 and then that means you should be uh competent with the skills in math for math 60 and math 70. Um, if you're not comfortable with most of this, then you might want to take math 60 or you might want to take math 70. A great time to let me know is week zero. Before the term begins, by golly, if you're placed in math 97 and you figure out that, you know, you're really struggling with the material in math 70 here, please let me know. Let's switch you uh, before that would make things a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm open to uh, you using the math brush ups as a really accurate form of placement. 
because the math brush ups will require you to actually do lots of math and engage with the material and you know better than anyone which class you're prepared for okay so i my opinion is these are the best placement system we have the problem is it requires the student to spend four five six seven hours actually doing all this math to figure out which class is best for you okay but if you're willing to put that time in fantastic okay i'm just going to show you really quickly how these work if you wanted to review math 60 and and you want to review say your percent you would click here a page opens up there is a worksheet you click on the worksheet and you do the lessons if you scroll down you'll find there's an answer key here anyway and also if you're stuck on let's say you're stuck on question seven okay go to seven and here is a video that gives the answer to question seven okay so you played the video see the answer question um and here is an entire lesson see these are lessons on general applications of percent so there'll be lots of examples similar to question seven there's a 35 minute 34 minute video on general applications of percent and you can play that and learn and review right so that's how the math brush-ups work, and we have all these topics here, right? Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is to make sure you were enrolled in the classes you need for your degree. Okay, so hopefully you might have a, a thing called an academic plan, also called an educational plan. Let me show you what that looks like. One of these things, academic planning sheet, academic plan. Hopefully you have one of those. It will list the classes you need each quarter in order to finally get all of your classes, get your credential. And and um, so hopefully you have one of those. If you don't, you will need to talk to your academic advisor to get one, right? Um, so let's have a look, ghc.edu. If you look at areas of study from the homepage, you'll find there are different degrees. For example, let's look at um, career technical degrees let's look at criminal justice let's look at associate of applied science and here are all of the prerequisites and the courses needed for that degree okay so i'm willing to help you out try to figure out what classes just to double check that you're in the correct class for fall that'd be great um, like I said, you can contact me, phone, Zoom office, email. Uh, best of all is probably just call. If I don't answer, I'll, I'll get back to you. It'd be great to meet in our Zoom office so we can share screens and I can guide you through the math brush-ups. I can help you with your student uh, portal to add or drop classes. I can um, uh, help you find what classes you need for your degree. So, hope to talk to you soon. And I uh, hope you have a great term.